If you don't do the senior project, then you won't walk during graduation. Well okay then. Back in 2013, I was a senior at a high school I had just transferred to, I had moved earlier in the year because my parent got divorced, and I made the deliberate choice to leave my old high school and move in with my dad, attending a new high school, I won't go into much detail about the why, but it was my decision to leave my mom, my old school, and my hometown in the Bay Area, and move into a small apartment with my dad. This comes up later. Normally, switching schools isn't a huge deal, but it was sort of an abrupt move, I wasn't able to take any of the AP classes I normally would have taken because they all had mandatory summer projects that I wouldn't have been able to do in a week. Additionally, a week into the school year, we were told about this stupid senior project they wanted us to do. In a nutshell, there was some acronym like IMPACT or something, and each letter represented a value of the school. They wanted us to write about how IMPACT had influenced us in our time at the school. We were then told that, should we not do the senior project, we wouldn't be able to walk for graduation. I heard this and thought it was stupid for a number of reasons, not the least of which being that I had only just gotten there, so their dumb acronym didn't mean anything to me. I brought this concern up to the lady telling us about the project, and her response was that I just figure something out, or don't walk. Well okay then. I brought it up with my dad asked if he gave a hot shit whether or not I walked for a high school graduation. He did not. So, I just figured that I wouldn't do the project. End of story, right? Wrong. You see, a few months into the senior project, they did a checkup on every senior. We just lined up in our homeroom to talk to some lady from the principal's office and told her how close we were to being done. When I walked up, I told her that I wasn't doing it. She was confused. You're not going to do it. You have to. It's non-negotiable. No, it's not. I don't have to do it. But you won't walk if you don't do it. Yet. Yeah. Then we just sorta of stared at each other and she wrote my name down and shooed me away. I correctly assumed that this would not be the last interaction I had regarding this non-issue. Several weeks later, my suspicions were confirmed when I was pulled out of class and brought into the main office. They ushered me into the vice principal's personal office, where she made a bit of a show of pulling out some papers. She told me that the meeting was regarding a misunderstanding I may have had regarding the senior project. She was apparently told that I didn't know what to do for the assignment, and I chose to boycott the whole thing as a result. I quickly corrected her, and explained that I very clearly understood what they wanted me to do, but that I thought it was stupid and wasn't going to do it. I also explained that I understood the penalty, and was fine with it. She, like the first lady, seemed confused by this course of action, and just let me leave, since there wasn't really much of a conversation to be had. A few more weeks later, I get pulled out of yet another class for this same thing. Again, I'm brought up to the vice principal for a one-on-one. -on -one. When I get there, she looks like the cat that ate the canary. She begins, so, I know you were in here a while ago, and you said you didn't want to do your senior project. No, I interrupted, I said I wasn't doing the project. Well, she continued. We had a chat with your mother over the phone earlier this week. She told us that she really wants you to walk on your graduation. I was quiet for a moment. Um. I live with my dad. Right, but your mom said she'd like to attend the ceremony and see you walk. I don't think you get it, I stated. I live with my dad for a reason. If ever there were an expression that perfectly exemplified the dial-up tone, that's the face she made. After she collected herself, I was released and headed back to class. By this point, I was mostly just not doing the project because it was dumb, but them calling a family member to strong-arm me was crossing a line. On top of that, they tried to strong-arm me using a parent with whom I was no contact. I decided right then that, no matter what, I wasn't caving into their bullshit. Duck the project, duck the school duck the weird tactics they were trying to use, though, 
in my anger was also confusion, why the hell did these people care so dang much about one guy not doing an optional assignment, also, I made myself very clear, so was that the end of it, spoiler, it wasn't. A few more weeks later, I got pulled into the actual principal's office. The principal, for reference, was one of those guys that tried to make a show of being overly friendly and goofy, but to the point where it came off as superficial, when I got to his office, he was his usual extroverted self, greeted me, and sat me down, so, I've heard about this whole senior project problem you've had going on. And I get it. Trust me, I really do. You're new here, so our motto hasn't had as much of an impression, so, after talking about it with the folks grading the projects, we think it'd be just fine if you had a modified project, just do a project on one letter of impact, and you're golden. He gave me a big warm smile. No. Sorry. He asked, still smiling. I'm not doing it. His smile was slowly fading, but you only have to do one letter. It's really not that much. Yeah, I got that. I'm still not going to do it. I stated. But you won't be able to walk on graduation day. Yab. So what's the issue, exactly? You called my mom. His mouth was open like he was going to say something, but I guess nothing came to mind, as we sat in silence for a good twenty seconds, him trying to formulate an argument, and me making a Jim Halpert face, I told him if that was everything he needed to talk about, I would be heading back to class, he didn't protest, so I just left. It was after this meeting that I eventually got some context, apparently, California schools will shuffle principals around every few years for some reason that probably makes sense, but I don't care enough to research. Our principal was going to be switching schools after the 2013 semester had ended, and one of his big plans was to leave that high school with 100% participation in the senior projects that would otherwise not affect any final grade. He used the threat of preventing students from walking at graduation to bully everyone into doing the dumb project. Almost everyone. I stuck to my guns and refused to do it. And sure enough, after the deadline had passed, they made a big deal about how happy they were that 99.6% of students completed their senior projects, even though they were hoping for 100%, and the absolute dumbest part about this exercise and stupid, after everything was said and done, I was called in one last time to the VP's office. She told me that despite my refusal to do the senior project, they were still going to let me walk, and gave me five tickets for friends and family. I laughed, walked out without the tickets, and didn't attend my own graduation. TLDR I was given the choice of option A or option B. I chose option B, the admins regretted giving me the option, and then it got personal. Edit. 12 14ths managed to get a hold of my pops. I asked him if they ever called him, and what he said was, I don't know. Maybe? I feel like I had something prepared for if they did call, you know, I would have told them that your grades were great, you had just transferred from a different school, you didn't know anybody, and that you were just looking to finish up and go to college, but I can't remember if they actually called me and I told them that. I feel like I did but I'm not sure if I did. Now to the comments. An expression that perfectly exemplified the dial-up tone. That's gold. OP replied. I swear to God, I heard it emanating from her very being. It's like an audible rolling of the eyes. You can hear over the phone. LOL. There are some people who think everything that happens in high school is massively significant, and others who just want to see the ass end of the place so they can get on with life. The former is always deeply confused by the indifference of the latter. OP replied. Personally, I found that the people who were consumed by the culture of high school never really left, even in college, 
some people had that high school attitude. 100% part of the problem is administration that takes itself way way too seriously and is stuck in that high school frame of mind. Ugh, I had no interest in walking for either HS or college. Got pressured into it both times. My HS graduation photo has me accepting my diploma with a G thanks, can I go now, look, my college photos all contain my ex-wife. So yeah. I completely understand. OP replied. Man, I kinda regret walking for my college graduation too, just give me the dang diploma so I can get a job. I didn't walk for college graduation, can confirm it's as great as it sounds, and cheap, I didn't want to pay for shit. They seriously crossed the line reaching out to the non-custodial parent, especially since they had no clue about the shit they were stepping in, your dad should have nailed them to the wall. OP replied. I was pissed when it happened, looking back, it's still ducked up but I can laugh at the fact they thought that would work. I'm glad you stuck to your guns about it and didn't let them railroad you.